Okay, today we're going to do the Utemtra, a little bit of a Pavoni, this little machine. So we'll get it going. It's just a little one-shot thing. Turn it on and it goes. I haven't really run this thing in a few years, but I believe it still works, and we'll just do a dry run. I didn't even test it out, so we'll just do this baby together today. Let's we'll put in some water. I wonder how much anyway, not that much. There we go. If I get too much, I'll just dump it back in here. Yeah, it looks good. A little more. Let's see if we can get this baby to make some espresso. A little bit. Okay. That looks good. We'll put the top on. And then we'll grind up some coffee for it. <laughs> we'll use these. I, these are those dark, medium dark to dark beans we've been doing. I have some in here. We've gone through about two and a half pounds, almost three. But yeah, that's what we're going to grind up for this. My little handy dandy container. Well, I got a bunch of those, so let's go ahead and we'll get this prepared and we'll make one of these coffees. Right in this little cup. It's pretty cool. It's one of my first espresso mugs. I forget what it calls a uh, Kala or Carla from uh, Germany. They're pretty good. A little thinner though than some of the others, but it's good. I kind of scratched the plate once but I improvised and made a nice little heart on it with some little ceramic pin right because I destroyed it one day with the knife you shouldn't let knives hit your porcelain but anyway I did so let's go ahead and we'll make one of these and see what happens it's gonna be fun so we'll get that all filled up going to do a finger tamp because I don't really have a tamper that fits it. I'll get pretty good and I'm not sure how much tamping this wants. I haven't run in a long time so we'll get a good amount in there but not too much. Let's see. There we go. All right so I wonder if this thing's going to splatter much. Maybe we'll bring something over just in case. <laughs> Maybe we'll be even smarter. Then we'll get a little towel dust to right. So let's pop that baby on. Light goes on, flickers a little, but that's just that indicator light. It always bugs me. But it's pretty cool. And there it's heating up. We'll see how long it goes. Find out if it heats anymore. We'll discover all this right now. I put the misty blue out here on the cart now. And move the green jean in for now just to run it but uh, yeah it's pretty nice I moved that out there so that's the main other thing I'm doing and uh, just waiting for packages to come in and stuff like that for the other machine so we got all that stuff going on big and I'm working on another long-term project but that'll be for a little while down the road it's in my mind but I have one step I have to have someone else do but the rest for me and it's going to be very innovative and different and um, groundbreaking. It's going to be really something different that I've been thinking about doing for a long time. So we'll go ahead and see what that does. This is going. That's getting warm. So that thing is working. Heating up. And that'll be great. And there it goes. I can hear it sizzling in there and... We'll see how long it takes it to heat up. This is a full run, no editing, no um, messing around with anything, but we're going to see if this little baby works. I bet if you had it at home and this is what you had, you could probably dial in the tamping and the grind and then switch it on and off maybe if you needed to adjust heat. But Oh, there you go. Getting the first drips out of one side. Maybe one of the channeling boys will get mad about that, but I'm just teasing. But there it goes. Well, God, it's, it's going at a nice, a nice rate, really. Not too fast. 
even though it's just coming out one side. That's okay. That's not a worry. And this baby's working. You know, there's no valves to turn it on and off. It just goes. And uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's going on. There's the other one too. We'll let it just run out, I guess. It looks pretty good. I don't know how much in and out, or I don't think we'll get much crim or anything, but maybe a little bit. We'll just let it run a little longer. Maybe you want to turn it off, but yeah, there we go. The Terra, yeah, that baby works. This baby is really old, but um, it holds a pretty good amount of coffee. I'd have to really um, check it with the La Pavoni basket and adjust all that, but again, this is just. Um, Oh, there's my little heart. This is just a um, dry run with this baby. It looks like it did pretty good. It did a full cup. You know, you probably could adjust and do um, water. But look at this. Let's come in and mess around a little. Look, not bad. Tiny bit of crema. That's pretty cool looking. Put it back. Yeah, that's a Terra. Still running. Simple as can be. Just one button. And um, on and off, and there she went and did make a little coffee. You know, you could probably adjust that baby and use a little less water and just turn that off, but it just goes, flick it on, but this is all you had in a little whatever dorm or somebody or really anywhere. This is not a bad little machine for when it came out. It has the little plastic. It's a little warm, but, you know, with the cloth, you could pick it up. Not like deadly hot like the metal probably is, but... Yeah, it drips a little, but there it is. This, we'll give it a little try. That's okay. Yeah, not bad. The Lou Terra still going after all this time. And makes it espresso, so. Yeah, this baby's still going. We'll let her cool down here. Drip a little bit, but yeah, it's a nice little machine. Not too hot. Just super simple. You know, one on and off switch right here. That's it. And you fill it with water. But yeah, it does pretty good. You can see that it runs all right. And um, you could make a pretty good espresso. You probably could dial it in just adjusting your mount. Just, I don't know how many, maybe make 10 of them or maybe 20. But you'd slowly dial it in with your water. And you could probably make a pretty decent shot out of this. You'd need a little frother if you had to have that for your milk. But. Gosh, for how old and simple this is, you know, it is a pretty genius machine, yeah. You tear, I might not pronounce that right, so anybody can correct me, but yeah, that's a great little machine, and yeah, keep doing that, or subscribe, I'd like to get a few more subscribers, so just do that, and I got a whole lineup of coffee machines we're going to do, and next week we'll do another one, a... Um, I think we'll do an AMA Milano, the smaller size. It's similar to this, and um, that's a nice little machine. But it's a little smaller than this one, and um, that's the one we'll do next week. So let's go ahead and um, yeah, wrap that up. That thing worked pretty good, <laughs> the Uterra. All right, so hang on a minute, and what I'll do is I'll go get the other one. Let's just see that. Before right, so this is the other one. We'll make one next week with this. This is the AMA Milano, the smaller one. There's two sizes. Um, this one has the switch in the cord. I don't know. It looks like... Yeah, a little Italian. So this may have come this way originally. And um, pretty good. This is actually kind of adapted over, right? That's the way it came. When I first got it, so it's kind of a, you know, everything's different. But this one's really old too. That was a pretty good basket, pretty good size, and um, yeah, single spout that goes. And then here's it's not really for back flushing, but it's if you want to steam because this one, yes, it does. It has a steamer. But I, I know from when I use that, if you're going to steam milk, you got to do two loads or because um, there's just not enough juice to do both. But if you want to steam, you would put the water in and you put your little cover on. Yeah, it's like a black flush cover, but there's a little star in there. And then you could do that in steam milk. But yeah, we'll run this one next week. And I bet it still goes. Yeah, it's almost the same thing, but just a step up. And um, 
this one's pretty nice it it got a little battered like i said when we lived up in the rainforest it was really hard on a lot of things but yeah this is the ama milano the little one and then after that we'll get out the big one but yeah i got a lot of these type of machines and you might consider them i don't know espresso mocha pot whatever you want to say but i consider them all in that family so that's good enough we don't have to get too picky but yeah that's the ama milano the little one we're going to run that baby next week and uh god we had a your terror was a success we did get a nice espresso it's pretty good dark and really tastes pretty good after all that time it's not bad at all but yeah we did it and um got the bluey out misty blues out here now so we might have one of those later on and we're still doing those dark beans but we might have to get some meat they're pretty rich we've been moving down our portions and adding more milk slowly because once it's a day-to-day -day coffee it's pretty strong it has a lot of caffeine so we really get going but yeah today's been good we've done it all and um a little bike ride and back home and make a couple coffees and goofing around with the machines and really having a grand old time and and that's what's going on so just keep it all together and um yeah you got to keep all the stuff going and you got to put your your freaking mask on jesus <laughs> these people that won't put masks it's like the simplest thing let me just show you see we got these all over here it's all you have to do and I look like a pretty cool guy now because I see how it actually makes you look pretty darn cool. So just do that and cruise in the store. It doesn't take long. I do it all the time. Don't be a baby. Put your mask on. And um, I'm glad I'm on an island because we're keeping everyone out. But yeah, we can't let anyone come in because some of those people just won't freaking put a mask on. I mean, it's probably the simplest thing to be the coolest person in the world and wear a freaking mask. That's it. Next week, AMA Milano, and we'll make some espressos out here on this. And uh, we're going to have a, probably a different coffee medium dark. Subscribe. We've got contest is coming up, and uh, we're getting close. And, yeah, I got a lot of really nice prizes to send with the coffee. So, excellent. 